So, here I am, Katie Rue, 25, on the 26th of June, Tuesday, the 26th of June, 2018. Oh, there's a little bird. There's two of them. Hold on. Hello? Oh, they're so cute. What are you doing here? You want to come in? Yes. <laughs> hey. Well, that was crazy. <laughs> cute little birds. Anyway, uh, where was I? I'm back in New Zealand after a season with Juventus. I don't have words. That was that was a crazy, crazy experience, and I learned so much about the world, about myself, about football, about Italy, and uh, I haven't quite come to terms with how big of an impact that year will have on my life, but. I feel so positive and so blessed, fortunate, grateful, so grateful to have it have experienced that. How many people get to play for Juventus? Their first signing. It's it's mad. It's mad. But I worked hard and and um yeah, I'm I'm ready for the next step and I just wanted to do this video to kind of let you all in on what's been happening and what's going to happen. So, at the end of the season, I missed out on the New Zealand squad to play against Japan, which was really disappointing, but I guess understandable considering the amount of game time that I had in Italy. Like, it's, it's hard for me to talk about it because I don't want to project, um, I don't want to sound like a dick, really, or, like, undermine my confidence in a way, but, no, I'm feeling good with where I'm at. I feel like I still definitely benefited from the season at Juventus, of course. How couldn't you? Playing and training with players of that calibre is such a great squad, such great fans, such great everything. Um, but yeah, missed out on New Zealand squad, so now I'm just more fired up than ever. I'm determined to find a team where I can get plenty of game time, where I can do my thing, get my confidence back up, score some goals, and just hit my form going into the World Cup next year, World Cup selections next year, because I want to be there, and I want to be playing well, and showing the world what New Zealand can do, because I'm confident we have what it takes to, to finally take it to that next step, so that's the aim for like the next... Well, I guess it's just under a year now. So it's looking as though I'm probably going to end up in England, but I'm not certain yet, and there's a few finer details I need to work out. But for now, I'm in New Zealand for at least another three weeks, I think. Two and a half weeks for sure. And then uh, back over to Europe to find out what's going on over there. Get stuck into the next season, which I'm so looking forward to. Um... I'd just, again, like to thank you all for following along on my little journey and uh, being a part of it. It's so cool to have, uh, to have a little community around this and, um, and someone to keep me accountable. And I've decided that I'm going to try to take a more open approach. I want to be, I want to be honest. I want to be vulnerable. I want to be just give you a true of count true account of what it is like to be pursuing a dream, a big goal, you know, I might fail. There's a total possibility. Some of it is just out of my hands, but I'm going to give it my best shot. I'm going to take you guys along with, along for the ride, if you want to come, that is. You don't have to, of course. Please do.
hit subscribe, give me a like. But yeah, I um I have so much footage from the end of last last season that I can't wait to upload, including um celebrations from our win, my travels around Italy, uh just all sorts of things. So stay tuned for those. They will be coming. I am working on them currently. Um and yeah, let's uh let's see how this unfolds. I will keep you updated. Cheers.